Hello everyone, welcome to another informative video. Today we have an important topic to discuss that affects the life of millions of people around the world and that is cholesterol. Now cholesterol, it is often portrayed as a villain in our diet and thanks to its well-known role in promoting heart disease. But it's essential to understand the full story. So in this video today, we will unreveal the mysteries of cholesterol, explore, explore its role in our bodies and learn how to maintain a healthy balance. Let's first understand what is cholesterol. So when we talk about cholesterol, it is a waxy, whitish, yellow, fat-like substance present in your blood. Now cholesterol, it is essential for health, but too much of cholesterol of bad kind can put you at a higher risk of heart disease or stroke. Do you know only 20% of cholesterol in your bloodstream comes from the food you eat and your body makes the rest of the 80% of cholesterol. Now where does cholesterol come from? Cholesterol comes from two different places. One is the blood cholesterol and second is the dietary cholesterol. So blood cholesterol comes from the liver. So 80% of the cholesterol comes from the liver and it helps your body build cells and vitamins and certain hormones like estrogens, cortisol, aldosterone, androgens, testosterone. So your body produces all of the cholesterol it needed through this process. Now let's talk about types of cholesterol. Number one is LDL which is also known as low density lipoprotein cholesterol and sometimes called bad cholesterol. Now what does LDL do? It makes up most of the body's cholesterol and when your body has too much of LDL cholesterol, the LDL it builds up the walls of your blood vessels. And this blood vessel is called plaque and it causes health problems such as heart disease and stroke. Second type of cholesterol is HDL which is high density lipoprotein cholesterol and sometimes it is also called as good cholesterol. Now what does HDL do? HDL is called good cholesterol because it helps to remove other forms of cholesterol from your blood that carries it back to the liver. Then the liver it flushes away from the body. High levels of HDL cholesterol can lower the risk of heart disease and stroke. Now comes the third and that are triglycerides. Now triglycerides they contribute to high cholesterols. They are type of fat in the blood that your body uses for energy. So a high level of triglycerides can contribute to problematic cholesterol build up in your body. Now let's talk about the causes of cholesterol. Number one cause of cholesterol is poor diet. So eating too much of saturated fats or trans fat can result in unhealthy cholesterol levels. Saturated fats they are found in fatty cuts of meat and fat full dairy products. Trans fats they are found in packet snacks or deserts. Second cause of high cholesterol is obesity. So having a body mass index of 30 or greater puts you at a high risk of cholesterol. Third cause is lack of exercise. Exercise, it helps boost your body's HDL, the good cholesterol. Number fourth cause comes smoking. Cigarette smoking may lower the level of HDL, that is the good cholesterol. So it is not a good sign. Then comes the next cause and that is alcohol consumption. So drinking too much of alcohol can increase the total cholesterol level. That is your LDL, your VLDL and your triglycerides. And last but not the least, 
cause of cholesterol sometimes is age. So even young children can have unhealthy cholesterol, but it's much more common in people over 40s. So as you age, your liver becomes less able to remove the LDL cholesterol. So till now we have talked about what is cholesterol, what are the types of cholesterol, where does cholesterol comes from and what are the main causes of cholesterol. Now it is important for us to know how to test the cholesterol level. So a complete cholesterol test also called as lipid panel or lipid profile it measures the level of lipids or fats in your blood. So it primarily measures four things. Number one, HDL, that is high density lipoprotein cholesterol, also called as good cholesterol. Number two, it measures the LDL, which is the low density lipoprotein cholesterol, which is also known as bad cholesterol. Number three, it measures the triglycerides. So when you eat, you break down the fats in your food into the smaller molecules which are triglycerides. So high level of triglycerides, they lead to a risk of cardiovascular diseases. And number four, it measures the VLDL that is very low density lipoprotein. So VLDL cholesterol is a type of blood fat and it is considered one of the bad forms of cholesterol. So along with LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. So this is because high level of cholesterol can lead your arteries and lead to heart attack. So this was all about the lipid panel or the lipid profile test and its results. Now let's talk about the natural ways to lower your cholesterol levels. Number one is Focus on monounsaturated fats. So some people recommend an overall low fat diet for weight loss. But researchers is mixed on its effectiveness in controlling blood cholesterol. In contrast, there is a strong evidence that a diet high in monounsaturated fats such as Mediterranean diet help reduce levels of harmful LDL and increase the healthy HDL. So here are a few great sources of monounsaturated fats and that are olive oil, nuts, canola oil, avocados, nut butters and olives. Now comes number two and that is prioritize polyunsaturated fats and especially omega-3s. So researchers from 2018, they showed that polyunsaturated fats, they reduce the LDL, that is the bad cholesterol and decrease the risk of heart disease. So polyunsaturated fats, they may also reduce the risk of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. Omega-3 fatty acids are especially heart healthy type of polyunsaturated fats and they are found in salmon, mackerel, herring, deep sea tuna like bluefin, selfish including shrimp. Here comes the next and that is limit your trans fats. So trans fats are unsaturated fats that have been modified by a process which is called hydrogenation. So this makes the unsaturated fats in vegetable oil more stable. The body handles trans fats differently than other fats and not in a good way. So trans fats they increase the total cholesterol and LDL but they decrease the beneficial HDL. So foods that commonly contain trans fats include pastries and other baked goods, some microwavable popcorns, fried fast foods, pizza, non-dairy coffee creamer, and margarine and shortening. Next is eat soluble fiber. So soluble fiber is a type of fiber that is abundant in plants and whole grains. So prioritizing whole grains can help lower the harmful LDL cholesterol level 
and may have a protective effective against the cardiovascular disease. So some of the best sources of soluble fiber includes your oat cereals, beans, lentils, Brussels sprouts, fruits, peas and flax seeds. Let's talk about the most important, that is exercise. So exercise is a win-win for heart health. Not only does it improve the physical fitness and help combat obesity, but it also reduces the harmful LDL and increase the HDL, the good cholesterol. So the American Heart Association, they advise that 150 minutes of moderate aerobic exercises per week is enough to lower the cholesterol level. Regular strength training alongside aerobic exercise can provide further benefits. Maintain a healthy for you weight. Having excess weight or obesity can increase your risk of developing high cholesterol levels. So losing weight if you have excess weight can decrease your cholesterol level. So overall weight loss has double benefit on cholesterol by decreasing the harmful LDL and increasing the good HDL. So it's recommended that you work with your doctor closely to determine a nutrient dense and sustainable weight loss plan. Let's talk about the next point and one of the important that is avoid smoking. So smoking tobacco increase the risk of heart disease in several ways. It increases your LDL that is the bad cholesterol. It decreases your HDL that is the good cholesterol. It increases the cholesterol buildup in your arteries and it affects the cholesterol transportation and absorption. So giving up smoking, if possible, can help reverse these harmful effects. Next point is alcohol consumption. So use alcohol in moderation. Alcohol role is providing heart protective benefits in controversial topics. So according to 2020 review of studies, some researchers indicate that when it is used in moderation, alcoholic drinks can increase the good HDL cholesterol and risk of heart disease. Yet the Center of Disease Control and Prevention and AHA disagree. So the AHA does not endorse drinking wine and any other alcoholic beverage specially to lower your cholesterol or improve your heart health. Let's talk about last but not the least that is try supplements. So evidence shows that fish oil and soluble fiber they improve cholesterol and promote heart health. So another supplement coenzyme Q10 is showing promise in improving the cholesterol although its long term benefit are not yet known. So supplements like fish oil, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, pycillium, it is a form of soluble fiber which is available as a supplement and may lower the cholesterol level. And coenzyme Q10, it is a food chemical that helps cells produce energy. So it is similar to a vitamin except that the body can produce its own Q10 preventing the deficiency. So to conclude, remember your heart deserves the best care and it starts what you put on your plate. Incorporate those fiber rich foods, those omega pack, 3 pack fish, those good fats from olive oil and nuts in your daily diet. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Nick Neha Vlogs for more health tips. And as always, consult your healthcare professional before making any significant dietary or lifestyle changes. Thank you.